Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to begin the show this morning by featuring one of the fabulous personalities that you'll find here in the Keys, and we are so blessed to have. He's actually the face of Sunset Celebration. Now, this man may be over 60 years old, but he still walks on a tightrope, and he juggles four nights out of the week pretty incredible. His high wire act and his juggling act have been entertaining crowds at Mallory Square for over 35 years. It is a must see if you live here on the island or you're coming to visit. Now along with having this load of talent, this man has such an amazing physique and enthusiasm to match that talent. Will, thank you for being on the show with me Thank today. you, Jenna. <laughs> well, it's great to have you, Will. I am very impressed by you. I've been watching videos of you, and I've, of course, seen you at Mallory Square, and you're great. <laughs> I think so I found my place in the world. You have found yeah. your place in the world. And now, is it true, Will, that you really got hijacked down here? That's how you ended up in the Keys? Well, to, to speak of, yeah. I mean, I, I actually discovered Key West when I was in the Navy. Mm -hmm. My ship pulled in here when I, in, geez, 1966, 67, mm -hmm. when I was a sailor. And uh, they're probably still looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came here <clears throat> to Key West and you just fell in love with it, didn't you, Will? Yeah, you know, like everybody else, right. I came for a weekend. Uh -huh. I came back to see what it was like in uh, 1976. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I'll just stay another day and another day. And here I am. Here you are. 36 years later. 36 years yeah. later. Now, Will, you are actually the co-founder of the Sunset Celebration. How did the Sunset Celebration, this idea to do it, come about? Well, you know, um, there, was, there were many more than just a few founders. Uh, in reality, uh, <clears throat> the original group that sort of hung out there was so eclectic. It was people from all walks of life and uh, all ages and all economic stratus, but uh, they sort of share that same, you know, uh, reverence for the sunset. And ha that's how it started out, very uh, spontaneously. And, um, and there wasn't a lot of them. When I first started out, if the, there was 50 people at the pier, it was a, a crowd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, uh, everyone brought a little something to drink or smoke or something and sat at the edge of the water and enjoyed the sunset and applauded afterward and, and in those days uh, people really didn't come till right before the sunset and then after it set that was sort of when the when the um, for lack of a better word the action took place you know after sunset people uh, sort of started congregating and playing drums playing music Mm -hmm. Dancing, mm -hmm. limbo, mm -hmm. skinny dipping. <laughs> the party was so good, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> but that was after the sunset. So, how did these acts come about then, Will? Well, uh, you know, street performers who are uh, a traveling breed mm -hmm. just uh, began popping in and doing shows. And anywhere there's a crowd, any place there's a crowd, you're likely to find a street performer, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And um, the same with the artists. Artists started popping in and setting up. And uh, the, the original, uh, the beginning of the Sunset Celebration was quite spontaneous, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. planned or intended. And look where it is today. It's yeah. one of the most important parts of Key West. Amen. <laughs> well, we're going to talk some more, Will, and also get into how in the world you got into tightrope walking and juggling. We're going to take a quick break, though, and talk more about that after these messages. Stay with us. <laughs> 